2023 is a lot different for USFL 2.0 in Season 2. The league is moving to a four-hub system instead of playing every game in Birmingham. So let's take a look at the four hubs and some of the alt football history behind them. And here in the USFL, this season all comes down to one game and one word, championship. The USFL 2.0 held its first conference championships and title game in Canton, Ohio in 2022 and decided to return this year full time, even though Canton has no USFL team to call its own. The new look Pittsburgh Maulers and the New Jersey Generals will play their home games at Tom Benson Stadium in the shadow of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Canton is considered the birthplace of pro football, where the Canton Bulldogs predated the NFL and when they joined the league, became the 1922 and 1923 NFL champions. Some other leagues capitalized on Canton's football history, including the Canton Legends of the defunct American Indoor Football Association and the late great Continental Indoor Football League had its home offices in Canton. Memphis, the birthplace of rock and roll. Memphis is the hub for the second iteration of the Memphis Showboats, who were the Tampa Bay Bandits last year in the second iteration of the USFL. The original Showboats played in 1984 as a USFL expansion team, and this was an immediate success story. While they missed the playoffs the first year, the crowds in Memphis were some of the largest in the league. The Showboats made the playoffs in 1985, and attendance at the Liberty Bowl continued to grow. The new Showboats set to play in the old home of the Originals, which was also home field of the World Football League's Memphis Southmen in 1974 and 1975 and a single season of the failed CFL experiment where the Memphis Mad Dogs drew very few fans. The Liberty Bowl was also home to the XFL 1.0's Memphis Maniacs, who had some of the best uniforms in the league, if not the best record. They finished 5-5 five five in the only season of XFL 1.0. In 2019, the Memphis Express, another bad team with awesome uniforms, called the Liberty Bowl home before the league folded with Memphis sitting at 2-6. Ford Field opened in 2002 and in 2023, it is the home of the Michigan Panthers and Philadelphia Stars. Detroit was, of course, home to the original USFL Panthers and also the World Football League's Detroit Wheels in 1974, who actually played in Ypsilanti. Now, there were at least a dozen fly-by-night indoor football teams that called Detroit home, albeit briefly. And the USFL is in business. Birmingham is, in my opinion, and in another video right here on my channel, the capital of alt football. The new USFL used Birmingham as its hub for all eight teams in 2022, but in 2023, only the Stallions and the New Orleans Breakers will call Protective Stadium their home field. Of course, Birmingham has been the home of a ton of alt football leagues and teams. You can check out my other video to really dive into that. All right, history lesson over. If there's one lesson to take away from all of this, it's that we should enjoy alt football while we have it. If you like alt football history and videos about the current leagues on the field, check out some of my other videos right here on my channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe.